Why, you must be the ones dragging my Jade all over the place and keeping him away from home. What? And then he goes and gets hit with a phone slot seal. This Claude can be a real pain, huh? Not at all, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, must you confuse our guests? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I guess we should get down to business. Jade's basically explained everything to me. As things stand now, there's a danger that St. Bina could fall into the cliff off. So it seems. In fact, I've already been informed that the land around St. Bina has begun sagging. Then we must evacuate the residents. I'd love to, but a lot of the council members are reluctant. Why? Their countrymen are in danger. Because of the military threat from Kimlaska. The Kingdom of Kimlaska Lanvildir issued a proclamation. We hereby denounce Malkuth's destruction of Axarioth in order to bring about the deaths of Princess Natalia and the tertiary heir to the throne, Luke von Fabre. In the name of Lorelei and Yulia, we shall initiate immediate sanctions. For all practical purposes, that's a declaration of war. My father is mistaken! Or is he, Princess Natalia? We believe that Kim Laska may have destroyed Axeriuth to create an excuse for war. My country would never commit such a despicable act. Yeah, and besides, I was the one who... Luke, we all know what happened. Natalia, please calm down. It doesn't matter now whether Kim Laska destroyed Axeriuth to start a war or not. Yes, the problem is that the Council believes that the sinking of St. Bina is Kim Laska's work. So they think that any forces sent to rescue the citizens will be wiped out along with the city. Exactly. Until we heard Jade's story, we'd thought Kim Laska had developed a phone tech weapon capable of creating a hyper-resonance. At the very least, Kim Laska was not responsible for Axarioth. And even if it were, St. Bina is still going to fall. How can not rescuing them possibly be better? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, Your Majesty. If it's impossible to send troops, then please let us go. Allow me to make the same request. If something happens, at least Malkuth forces won't be caught in it. I'm surprised. Why are royalty like yourselves so intent on helping an enemy country? We're not enemies. Our citizens travel between our countries as if it were perfectly normal. And it's my duty as one born into the royal family to aid those in need. And you, Master Luke? I am a criminal to Malkuth. I am to blame for what's happening. I want to do anything I can. I want to save everyone. Well, you heard them. What do you think, Sesamon? Your dear apprentice, Jade, also says we can trust these guys regarding St. Bina. Your Majesty, it's not polite to refer to them as these guys. If I may make a suggestion, perhaps Luke and my unit could evacuate St. Bina while General Nordheim contains the northward-moving Kimloskan army. Are you giving a general orders? Well, I suppose it will work. We'll try to gain the council's approval. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Then you won't abandon St. Bina? Of course not. Though you all are the ones who are going to save it. They're my dearest people. Please help us save them. I'll do everything in my power. As will I. As you wish, Your Majesty. I have to summon the Council now. I'll let you handle the rest, Jade. <sighs> Evacuating an entire city is not an easy task, you know. What should we do exactly? As His Majesty said, the military won't enter the city for fear of it becoming another Axeriuth. We'll enter St. Bina first and get help from former Field Marshal McGovern.
curse has been removed. Guy, I'm sorry. Luke? I... I must have done something to make you suffer. That's why you... <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? It's not your fault, Luke. It's not your fault that I hated you so much I wanted to kill you. I'm originally from Malkuth. What? Really? I was born in Hod. On my fifth birthday, my relatives gathered at the mansion. Just as the scorer started to read my score, the war began. The Hod War. If I recall, it was Duke Fabra who attacked Hod. Yes, Duke Fabra killed my family, my relatives, our servants, everyone. He destroyed everything I loved and laughed as he did it. So I set out to make him experience the same thing I did. You entered House Fabra for revenge then? Gailardia Gallen of the House of Count Guardios. Oh, you knew, huh? I noticed a few things, so I investigated. You fight in the Albert style, a technique that doesn't use a shield. It's unique to Hod. Then you can't really want to be by my side, can you, Guy? I may be a replica, but I'm still Fabra. Come on, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any lingering feelings about it, but... But? If you want me gone, then I'll cut ties with you right now. But if not, could I stick around a little longer? There's still something I want to confirm. Okay. I trust you. No. I should say, trust me, guy. Please. <laughs> Either way works for me. Thank goodness. I was so worried you might start fighting. Well, now that that's all settled nicely, how about we head for St. Bina? Oh, yeah. We heard from a messenger that you're going to St. Bina. But Ion is drained from healing the curse slot. He'll stay here with me. Annis, I'm fine. And if I go with them, I may be able to help. Ah! Annis, everyone, please take me along. Please? If Master Van's after Ion, then he's in danger no matter where he is. Are you saying he'd be better off where we can keep an eye on him? I suppose we have no choice. Oh, not again, Ion!
I told you, Father. With Kaitsuur overrun, we cannot afford to have troops leave the city. But if we don't evacuate the civilians, St. Bina will become the next Axarius. We cannot make a move without an order from Majesty. If an order from Emperor Peony is what you're waiting for, we just brought it. Colonel Curtis, you're alive. What did His Majesty say? We're to evacuate the civilians to the Engave area. On guard. Who just started the ball? My troops will take over, escorting the civilians partway along the route. Once the civilians are out, please have your forces go west to join General Nordheim's forces on the East Rugnica Plains. Understood. So we're abandoning St. Bina. Right. I'll inform the residents. We'll help too. Right. <laughs> I finally found you, Jade. Now is not the time, Dist. You never were able to tell when you're not wanted. Say what you like. I'm taking Phone Master Ion. I'm afraid not. Now move! Are you trying to save these worms? And after you gave up on Professor Nebelin? Are you still pursuing that foolishness? You have no right to criticize me! You gave up before you even started! Now, hand over the Phone Master!
Precious Kaiser Dist! You haven't heard the last of me! Next time I'll tear you to shreds! I don't think you'll catch him, but follow him just in case. Yes, sir. Damn it. McGovern and the others are. Luke, wait. I'll jump down and sing a phonic hymn. Wait. A considerable number of residents still remain. You can't take them all with your hymn. Let's think of a more definite plan. Don't worry about us. Take care of the others. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? If only we could fly. Fly? Hey, I heard they were doing flight experiments in Sheridan. Flight experiments? What's that? If I recall, they have an ancient hover drive that was excavated by the Order. Supposedly, back in Yulia's age, they attached those to vehicles and flew in them. 
All the phone machine buffs have been talking about it. Yes, I approved the project to share technology with Kim Laska. The flight experiments should be underway. That's perfect. Let's go borrow whatever they're using for the experiments. If we hurry, maybe we can save the people. Will we be in time? This situation looks different than Xerians, but even still... From what I heard from Van, it took several days for Hod to fall. There's a force field called the Dividing Line between the Cliff Off and the Outer Lands. He said they fell faster just after crossing that line. Let's give it a try. It's better than doing nothing. Yes. Let's at least do what we can. Sheridan is on Rodessia, on the same side as Batacle. We'll need to be careful not to get caught by Kim Luskin troops. Okay, let's get back to the Tartars.
Let's go! 